Yes, drum nerds, drum nerd S's. Welcome back. Like, subscribe before we get into baby metal. Um, Maya, Maya, you'll know. Um, yeah, 2,786 subscribers. Well impressed with that. Very much unimpressed with tea. It's awful. Shocking. The only reason why I'm having it is because I've already had four or five cups of coffee, so something's got to give, right? Um, yes, like, subscribe. Really, really grateful to have all of you here. So, genuinely for me, to you, oops, hello, for me, to you, thank you so much. So let's get into this baby metal Maya, or Maya, depends, depends where you're raised. Already starting up, okay. See, now I forgot. I forgot that they are choreographed in that way. I think this is... Oh, I can see the guy's face, the drummer. I think it's him. See, this is the only thing that loses me is... It's a, it's a musical band, but then it's a girl group in a sense, in that way. That's not to discredit them in any way, although the trolls will be in full force. Um, I just, it's, it's not been my cup of tea, really. Much like this, quite literal cup of tea. Um, but I, I really do appreciate that double pedal that he's throwing down right now. Huge stage, too. Maya, it is Maya. Is anybody else thinking that sounds like Enya? And I mean that in a nice way, in a complimentary way. Is it Barone? Something Barone, the drummer? But did you see that? You see that? This is the thing that I, this is where it loses me. Everybody's on an X. Look at that. There's an X there, and I think there's an X coming up in the in the. So it just gives them where they need to go and all that. And I understand it's part of this bigger show, and uh, but I guess I come from I don't know. I come from a slightly different background. Yeah, you can see little T's and X's for where they're supposed to move to to get the right shots and the choreograph. I, I yeah, I know down the line that happens even with live acts, but I don't know. When I saw um, the Stills and Bedouin Sound Clash and those kinds of people. They just kind of go out on the stage and play what they got, you know. And I and 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 I understand this is a different. This is a di you know horses for courses. So this is a different theme. This is a different thing entirely. But and it's not a criticism. It's just an observation of absolute facts. But you tell me what you prefer. The more kind of Britney Spears, uh, Madonna style choreographed, where they have to be on certain axes, or if you're more of the kind of organic. Um, I don't know, Pink Floydy, Led Zeppelin y kind of just bah, goes out and halves it. Halves it? Has it. It sounds like it's a trigger. It's definitely, it's. That's a lo-fi effect, so you can hear the lo-fi. You've got lo-fi, hi-fi. That is in a lo-fi effect, uh, where it sounds like it's coming out of almost a speaker that's submerged in water sort of thing. It's a great effect, love it. And you'll hear it go and switch on to the hi-fi, and you can hear that difference, and it drags a whole different sonic. Um, it takes it on almost like a sonic 180. You'll, you'll, you'll hear it. Biffy Clyro does not have quite a bit. There it is, you saw that. And that guitar line is doing it.
we've pretty much been in quarter notes this entire time on the uh, on 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 that right hand. So you can see where. So we've got a. It is a four piece band. We've got what would be probably the. I mean, logically, if it was up to me as the MD, I would be having the bass and the drums on their side, and I would have the guitar and the lead guitar over there, just so that the bass and the drums can visually lock in as well as sonically lock in. I'm assuming they've done that. It's hard to tell because they're all silhouettes. But yeah, we very much lived in the portal. Essentially what you got is the bass drum pattern. It has been very consistent and and it's pretty much more more than not lined up with the rhythm guitar and what I would imagine the bass guitar is doing, which is that 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 Austin. Sing it, you can play it. Um, and I know there's a little bit of a disconnect in that regard, because you 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 can if you can sing it, you can play it. Hundred percent. There is just a little bit of a window of getting able to then play it. But always, if you can say it or sing it, you can play it. I am a firm believer of that, um, as were all my tutors. But yeah, so that is the main pattern, and that's what the bass was doing, as in the the bass drum. Sorry. Um, before that, it sounded like there was an element of picking out accents from that original phrase. So the So it sounded, if this is Anthony Barone, it sounded like he was hitting the more, he was punctuating the, uh, the pushes and not doing those double pedals in this previous verse, uh, or you could call it middle eight. So what I'm saying is the pattern essentially was the same. It was just phrased slightly different in what was getting the attention and what wasn't then getting attention, right? He had this whole thing and for one section, he had all of it. And for the other section, he just took a few things out and kept some of the other ones there. Yes. Hey, <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> oh, I am funny. I didn't. I didn't mean that pun, but it worked. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it's a P a PGS or PSG rather. It looked like it, if I'm not mistaken. Those toms sounded fabulous. There weren't very many toms involved in that, really, were there? So this has just come out, actually. Well, I say just come out. It's about a um, is about a month old, three weeks old. Um, so fairly, fairly recent. Um, I love Anthony as a drummer, as a player. I've never met him or spoken to him as a person, although I'm sure he's, you know, he's a wonderful guy, I would imagine. But um, there wasn't a lot of Tom work in that, which isn't a negative and it's not a positive. It's just what it was. That song didn't require that. And that was the stylistic choice. But I really did enjoy the consistency of bass drum patterns in terms of verse and chorus. Were very, they were different, but they were also quite, um, quite maintained in similarity in that they were pretty much the same. They were just phrased and a bit different parts of that pattern were brought to life. So I quite enjoyed that myself personally, instead of having an entirely, obviously it's an entirely new bass drum pattern, but you're maintaining the same ethos. I hope people aren't getting too lost over my words because I'm certainly getting lost over my words. I, I, I know what I mean. And I think Frank Andre knows what I mean. Thank you. Oh, by the way, so this is the end of the video. You can click off now, but I am getting to go home in the, in the Christmas months and I will be going to a Detroit Red Wings game. I can't wait. It has been probably 15, 16 years since I've been to a Detroit Red Wings game. Maybe even more. Ah, uh, yeah, about that. I've lived in England for 13 years. 
So it was probably about three, four years before that. Yeah, a good 16 or so years that I've been to a Wings game. I cannot wait. I am so excited. And it'll be the first game my girlfriend ever goes to. So I'm wicked gassed for that too. She'll see the... <laughs> the only sad part is she's... <laughs> she's about... <laughs> 16 or 17 years outside of being able to see Stevie Y play and quite a few years out of seeing Bobby Pro Probert play. But uh, it'll be amazing. So let me know what you're getting up to this Christmas if you're going to any sporting events or any of that stuff. But yeah, can't wait to see the Wings. They're going to... I really hope they, they destroy the competition. And um, yeah, quite gassed about that. Cannot wait. I know it's not the Joe. It's technically Little Caesars Palace or something but it'll always be the Joe to me and I will always call it the Joe because it is the Joe. Mm. So like subscribe, be kind, be polite to somebody that you don't know and do something nice for somebody that you don't know. I mean, it does say it should, it says manners for days, but it should say manners are free because they are. Don't be, don't be ashamed and don't be afraid to use them. Okay. Keep your stick on the ice.